A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -to -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. We're live on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa versus Not. There it is! The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made! Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players... Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Chance here. And what a magical save it was! Corner kick played in. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in. See that coming. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. McGinn. Oh, danger here. Big chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Gaining possession. Matty Cash. And the cross into the middle. Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper there's a cover up. And there's the delivery. Well, not away properly. Douglas Luiz, teammates in the middle. Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Leon Bailey. Players waiting in the centre. Must be! Straight forward for the keeper. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Aston Villa will get the throw in. Douglas Luiz. Longley. Might be able to produce from this position. And crossing towards the far post. And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily, and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So back underway here into the second half. And he might be through here. Can they slot it home? No defensive resilience there. Well, Villa have created so many chances, as you can see. It's just a case of how many Oh, now. Stuart, they must score. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, Unai Emery has to be proud of his team after that. Diaby. 
opportunity. He can't hold on to it. And a time for calm on the ball. Diaby. Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Really smart piece of defending to stop them. Might work out. Big opportunity. Well, he so badly wants that hat trick, Stuart. Well, that was the chance for the hat trick, but the way he's playing, he's surely going to get it today. And Chris Wood. It's got to be! It's still alive! Corner given. And over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. Not out of the woods yet. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Incisive pass. Oh, he could finish. Diaby. Oh, Forrest giving it away. Oh, big chance. Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. And we've entered the final five minutes. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reached. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Was it a great clearance? Really sound defending. Oh, a smart stop. Well, driven fiercely against the front. Because that was a wasted opportunity. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, I think the stats will tell you, they had more possession, they created better chances, and they were the more dominant side. But that counts for nothing. They've lost the game they should have won. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, what a great display that was. He really did inspire them to victory today. That was a 10 out of 10 performance.